Shannon Sharp was fired from Fox Sports Undisputed with Skip Bayless. The show that he was a part of, he was fired. Yes, he did broker a deal, which is which what ha- is what happens when you have to cut your contract short because you got fired. They either have to pay you out of your contract or you could sue them <laughs> or you can broker a deal. I have proof of what I said yesterday. Welcome back. My view, my opinion, the MVMO podcast. The reason I'm doing this is because, you know, I rarely get tons of men here. And, you know, when you talk about things like this, you know, sports people, it draws men, not always healthy men, men who are emotionally unhealthy. They don't know how to communicate, even in a comment section with women, with ladies. They use foul language. And even if it's not curse words, abusive speech. And they think, well, it's the Internet. Nobody cares. But that is you. Your conscience conscience is there. And yeah, it does matter. And so I was saying on the podcast about Shannon and why, in my view, my opinion, he let go of his stylist. Not because of the sexual rumors. He don't care about that. Despite the way he pretends. He doesn't care. He's used to that. It's because it was a business deal. It was bad for business. The look of the relationship was bad for business when he got fired. Now, I kept saying, Shannon was fired. Shannon was fired. And some of these guys were like, he wasn't fired. You don't know what you're talking about. I won't say some of the things that they said. Those comments I had to delete because even reading them hurt my eyes. (laughs) And so I thought, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is make a podcast giving the proof I found in my research, because some of these guys were like, you need to do better research. Cause I said, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm one of those ladies. I don't care about sports girl. I don't even, I don't listen, babe. And all his friends were doing the super bowl. And guess where I was? I was in Ulta looking for new makeup. <laughs> That's what I care about. Okay. But I thought, mm-hmm, don't try me. So let me tell you my research. For those of you who said, you need to do my research. You don't know what you're talking about. You such and such. Okay. Here's the deal. I know you're due. You love him like a brother, but Shannon was fired. How do I know this? Where did I find this? I'm going to tell you where you can find it. Look how nice I'm being. I'm going to actually give you the scoop. I'm joking with you. I don't hold it against you. I understand. Sometimes when we don't know certain information because we haven't done all the research, when we hear someone say something, And if they don't say where they got it from, which I did to one of you guys, I said, I got it from Stephen A. Smith because he's messy. He said it (laughs) because I was researching because I know I don't know nothing about sports. I better do a whole lot of research. All right. About. Well, let's put it this way. Many months ago, because I can't remember now what the date was on the podcast I was listening to. Joe Budden has a podcast. You know that, right? And he was talking to Stephen A., You can search this out yourself. And because I cannot, I'm not allowed to play Joe Button's podcast clips here. People do get away with it, but I'm not trying it. So I'm just going to give you the quote and you can go find it for yourself. In that conversation, Joe was telling Stephen how proud he was that Stephen swooped up Shannon this summer when all that stuff went down between Skip and Shannon and Fox Sports and Undisputed. And Stephen listened. And then Stephen said this, and I'm quoting. I would have looked at it that way if Shannon left of his own volition. I'm telling you, he didn't. And then he goes on to explain more. Joe says, and wait a minute. He says, that's the first time I don't ever heard that. He said, well, I'm telling you the truth. They don't want to own up to it. He said, and if you really talk to Shannon, Shannon would tell you the truth too. But how I even got there for all my guys that told me, B, do your research, (laughs) was when I was researching, I was listening to Corey Holcomb, who I had just recently learned of a few months ago. (laughs) This irritates men. See, I'm purposely going so slow and dragging it out. (laughs) But I was listening to Corey and prep for another Shannon story. And Corey said, 
you ain't, y'all know how Corey talk. You ain't got, you know, you got fired over there with your lying self. And then he said, how we know you even got fired is because Stephen A, who don't really like you. And I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. He said Stephen A. So I did my research. I took the time to search it out, my brothers. By the way, all the men who are listening to me who curse me out. Oh, yeah, the cash app is in the description box. Send it over. That's That'll be your apology. I'm joking again. And so I dug and dug and dug and I found it. I was like, oh, my God. Now I had to listen to the whole podcast because I didn't know what what he was talking about. Once I found that, I was like, OK, so somewhere in here he's saying this. And guess what he does? And he even goes on to talk about I'm talking about Stephen now. One of the main reasons he did that for Shannon was that he felt bad about Shannon being done the way he was done with some situation, girl. See, guys, I don't know what he was talking about. So I didn't write that part down in my notes because I didn't care because I never even heard those names before. Yes, I am a girl. (laughs) So he was saying when I was, you know, done with the such and such, he went in his whole story. He said when then when they did Shannon like that over there at Fox Sports, I couldn't let that brother, you know, you know, go down like that. He said, so I felt it was my responsibility to basically give him a job. But his direct words were, I would have looked at it differently, Joe. If Shannon left of his own volition, I'm telling you, he didn't. And then he goes on to say that several times as Joe is just shocked saying, wait a minute. uh, uh-uh, I ain't never heard that. He said he was. He didn't leave of his own volition, which means he was fired. He was pushed out. And actually later he uses that phrase pushed out. He was pushed out. So that's why I told you guys in my commentary in response to my listener request that Shannon was fired because I had done all that research, which takes a lot of time. Listen, I don't get it right all the time. I I know that I am not perfect. And for all the research you do, that doesn't mean you're going to find everything. But what I do try to do is I try to do the best job I can in presenting information that's fair that's balanced, and that can help people in their real everyday lives. Now, as I get ready to let you go, one of the reasons that you rarely hear MVMO say, subscribe, 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 is because, see, I've dealt with people for 18 years, and I've done public speaking, and I know how it goes. People actually think having more people is a great thing, but I know it's really not. (laughs) Because when you get a lot of people, you also get very problematic people. And because I'm here to try to help people, as many people as I can, I understand that, you know, you got to be as thorough as you possibly can. Again, that doesn't mean you're going to get every detail correct. It happens even with the professionals, but they have fact checkers there that can tell them in their ear, hey, no, 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 it wasn't 1985, it was 1995. So no, 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 Shannon was was fired. And listen, even if I hadn't have ever heard Stephen A with his messy behind child on that podcast, if I hadn't ever heard him say Shannon was fired, I would have known by virtue of common sense he was fired. All I had to do was put one and one together and come up with two. He was fired. I mean, listen, when will we learn as black folk That when we're on their platform, which his podcast is on now, by the way, let's make the men ladies even more upset. You know, all of the men who were like, ooh, 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 Shannon made so much money from that Cat Williams interview. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, he didn't. Say, oh, yes, he did. No, he didn't. Oh, the interview made a lot of money. But Shannon, Shannon's podcast is not solely Shannon's. It's the Volumes podcast. They have fund his podcast. His podcast is on their platform. And every YouTube check, every Apple check, everywhere that podcast is heard, Volume gets a major piece of the revenue because it's called revenue sharing. That's why... 
Shout out to Roland Martin, who I don't always agree with. My God, he is very, very inflammatory at times with his language. And I think you got to be very careful of listening to people who make everything about race, even when it's us. And maybe we'll talk about that later. So don't try to read into my comments and assume what I mean. If you don't hear it out my mouth, you don't know what I mean by that. But I have to give Roland his props because he started his own and he's not the only one. There are many people who've done this because they understand when it's my own, I can say what I want. If I get into it with a lady at Walmart, that's not going to affect my bottom line. But see what Shannon forgot to all my my men is that you you was at Fox. They, they you, you, that wasn't the Shannon Sharp show. So y'all, your off air antics are going to come back to bite you because you when you go out, you don't represent Shannon Sharp. You represent Fox Sports Undisputed. Not to mention, I found in my research, men, that Skip, you know, Skip, I mean, I went, what, who cares? I mean, are we surprised the man was with low key racist? Of course he was. Ain't most of them. That's just the way it is. It's, it's built into them. So only he and the Fox people and Skip and Stephen, who he obviously told all this to, or Stephen has connections. They know exactly what the list of, and I can promise you there was a list. They were collecting on him just like they were collecting on Tiffany Cross at MSNBC. We can only say what we want, how we want on our own. On our own, y'all. We can't be on folks' platform. That's like me being on YouTube and not wanting to follow the YouTube rules. And then if they ding me saying, well, well, y'all, YouTube needs to do No, 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 no. This is not the MVMO platform. This is on YouTube. And there are rules that I have to follow. And I don't, if I don't follow them, there may be consequences. And I can't then complain about those consequences. What happened to Shannon Sharp is no different than what happened to me when I was in my early 20s. And listen, as I end, you may relate to this story. I had a job and I I wasn't really um, hip to how to handle racism in the workplace, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so there was a situation that culminated in another situation. So I told the woman off. Well, I, I, you know, didn't know quite how some people operate, if you know what I mean by some people. Long story short, over a matter of months, months this, this particular um, office relationship dissipated because I couldn't stand her after the racist comment I overheard her make. And so one day I was called in the office. And they gave me a choice. You can either resign or we're going to fire you. Because when I tell you every moment I chance I got to say something to the racist, I did. When new black people were hired, I'd be like, look out for such and such. She's a racist. Girl, I didn't care if they heard me. See, I wasn't operating in wisdom. I wasn't even operating really in common sense. I was operating in feelings, which gets you every dime in the workplace, even when you might be right. The feelings operating, letting the feelings drive the car, drive our mouths will get us every time. Well, I talked to my best friend at the time because they gave me a few days to make a decision. And she said, listen, don't let them fire you because you got to remember, you got to get another job after this. So on your resume, would you rather put fired (laughs) and have to explain that in the next interview or just put resign? And so she said, take the way out, take the way out. And so I did. I resigned from that job, but I actually got fired. (laughs) So that's what, in essence, happened with Shannon and Undisputed. For whatever their list of reasons, which some I'm sure were valid and some were not. Some were probably just BS. Right. They brought him in the office and said, now, you technically have four more years in your contract, but we ain't keeping you four more years. We want you gone for this, this, this and this. Now, what you want to do? 
We want now you got a public image to maintain. So we want you to be able to go out into the world and say, it was my decision. It was, it's kind of like what happened with Megan McCain in The View. She was fired. She was given that same option. She had two more years on her contract. She, with her attorneys, when they said, we're done with you, we're done with you, girl. Mm -mm, We ain't doing this over here. No more. No more of the foolishness. It's gotten too personal. It's time for you to go because they interviewed everybody and said you were the problem after their little investigation. And they gave her the option of being able to go around the world saying, I quit. I left of my own volition of my own accord. But that's not how it was. And that's the same thing that was with Shannon. <clears throat> so if you would like to hear the, you know, what Shannon, uh, excuse me, what Stephen A. had to say, I've told you where to go. Go to Joe Button's podcast. Search it out. Like I did. Go to his podcast and listen to the interview he did with Stephen A. And Stephen A. spills all the tea because that is who he is. He's messy. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you on the next podcast.